Excellent. So we're now on to the, another segment here of the Armed Consumer. Uh, and what we've got here today is two licensed master electricians. So go ahead if you share with us who you are. My name is Dan Beckman. I've uh, been in the trade for about 21 years. And you're a licensed master electrician? Correct. Okay. Yeah, my name is David Brandon. I've been in the trade since 1966. I can't add that high. 42 years next April. 42 okay. years next April. Right. Excellent. I forgot everything by now. Oh, no. But it keeps coming back to you, right? <laughs> All right, so my first question to you guys would be, so let's say you have a good friend or family member out of state and they want to hire uh, an electrician to come into their home and do some work. What are you going to make sure that they, that they know? What, what's, what's something you're going to be sure to warn them about or tell them about, look out for? What do you say, well, Dan? Well, the obvious is the license. Always use license. I believe in using referrals. If someone had a job done by a contractor and they liked them, everything worked out, the city liked their work, try to find the same person, same company, and stick with them. Um, and, and, and what he said has come up time and time again, which is if the city liked them. Yes. And, and I really love that because they, they see all the bad stuff, you know, or most of the bad stuff, not all right. of it, I'm sure. Have you ever had to go out and remedy a problem that a previous, uh, I call them imposters or bad apples, uh, in your field had caused and you had to go out and do something to fix it or what did that All look the time. like? Um, seems like the, the, the attitude is if it, if it works, it's good, it is not true. Um, I just remedied a house that they rewi rewired a bedroom, but they used all extension cords and they taped them up in the attic and she, the homeowner wondered why it wasn't working. You mean the, the person that came in? Wired the home with, with extension, extension cords? cords. Supposedly he was an electrician and supposedly he knew what he was doing, but I just had an informer that it didn't look like it, it didn't look like it and he wow. didn't know, so we had wow. to rewire it. Well this is this is also an issue where the homeowner has to do the homework. You know, when you get when you have an electrician come to your job, the first thing you want to see is number one, is he licensed? Number two, you need to make sure that on your job, it only costs a few dollars to get a build uh, electrical permit. You want a permit on the job because the electrician inspector is going to inspect the work these gentlemen do, and he looks for the minimum requirements. And they'll green tag your house when they pass, like for instance, a rough inspection. That means the inspector is saying, the work that these gentlemen did is up to code. This would have never gotten past drywall, I'm assuming, right. if the inspector would have been there to do his job. And again, it falls back onto the city. And the contractor should also pull the permit. Exactly. If, if the contractor tells you, oh, you pull the permits because you live here, he's not licensed to pull the permits, so he's making it seem like that you're supposed to do it. And from what I've understood across the board, and this is, um, this, I'm, I'm speaking in generalities that may or may not uh, be applicable in a different state or a different city or different township, but in Michigan anyway, my understanding is that the onus kind of falls on the person that pulls the permit. Correct. So a lot of contractors will try to have you go pull the permit uh, because they don't want the liability or the responsibility at the right. end of the day. If right? they're a licensed electrician, electrician and they did the work and even though you pulled the permit, if you can prove they did the work, as a licensed contractor, they're still liable for their work, even though you pulled the permit. Okay. But there, if if he is licensed, there is no reason for not for him not pulling the permit. Okay. What? Why? At what point do you have to pull a permit? You go into somebody's house; they want to have some new outlets installed, or they want a new fuse. They want a new fuse box, but a new uh, electrical service. Any electrical work done in a home is supposed to require a permit. Anything, even putting Anything. an outlet in for somebody. Putting an outlet, changing Actually, a switch. Pardon me for interrupting, Dan, but. It has to be pulled before the work begins, really. Yes. The scope of work has to be uh, on paper with the uh, authority having jurisdiction, which is the electrical inspector in his office. And um, if that man does not have a license, like Dan said, he's going to try and skirt that issue. You want to have that license, and you have every right in the world to ask him to see it. He'll pull out his uh, wallet and show you his wallet size license. And you're also entitled to a certificate of insurance. 